Hello and welcome back to the XNA Extreme 101 class with your instructors, Buzz and Logan. I am speaking directly to the students of the XNA Extreme class. As most of you, if not all of you already know, we have made a post over in the XNA classroom where we have, well, started out by first apologizing for letting this course go on as long as it has and us getting off track as much as we, ha as we have, excuse me. In this particular case, it's really me. That's why I'm stuttering there because I keep saying us and, well, I'm the one that has pushed us so far off course because I've had the whiteboard out for every single thing I've done and where I'm supposed to be playing the role of student and Logan is supposed to be playing instructor as the lead here in the XNA Extreme class. That's really not happened. I've done a lot of talking here where I should be just a little bit quieter. After all, this class is a 101 class. The whole idea of the class was to be an introduction class, an introduction, a light introduction to the world of C Sharp and an introduction to XNA. And then, of course, with the 202, 303 class, so on and so forth, we were going to get more involved. So as I said back in the classroom, we're going to get things much more focused now. So we're going to deliver exactly what we said we were to begin with. I know this makes a lot of you happy. I've had a lot of PMs from students asking, hey, let's just go ahead and wrap this up. And so that's what we're going to do. We're trying to get things back on track and not as in-depth as we've been delivering. I mean, up to this point, the class was supposed to be at most 32 hours, though we were looking at it being somewhere between 16 hours and 32. So we were thinking, you know, 20 hours or so. And at this point, the XNA Extreme class is at 90-plus hours. 90-plus hours, that's insane. So, you know, I, we have gone on a little bit too long, so we are going to focus things back up. Now, please keep in mind, this means we're going to go back to the original way this class was going to be presented for the remainder of the content. Now, we have provided a lot of content that was way above and beyond what this class was supposed to be, and that's great. You guys have that content, and hopefully you have benefited from it. But at this point, with us going back to a more focused approach, this is an introduction class, so we are going to provide introduction to base concepts that we will be building on at later dates and times. Now, I will be doing a very special extended study program for those of you that have been really into the whole XNA class and you've really been craving as much material as I can throw your way. Um, and for those of you that have been looking forward to just kind of bringing closure to the class, uh, this is really targeting you guys at this point, just getting things wrapped up. So with that, there's still a few things left that we need to cover. We've already created uh, the Precision game and all of its glory, and we've created several other games and the DAG application as well. So at this point, we've still got things to cover, such as structs. Uh, we have uh, delegates. We have arrays. We have events. Um, we have implementation plans that we need to go over and talk about for several more different games. I think we got about four more games to go, something like that. But a bunch of different things I want to cover so that we have at least talked about every single thing that was in the original plan for the XNA Extreme class. And once again, no matter which way we go at this point, we've already gone way above and beyond what we said we'd do to begin with. And for all of you out there, I really appreciate you bearing with me and letting me do what I do best, and that is, well, go off on tangents and try to demonstrate things from every single angle that I possibly can. I really do appreciate you guys giving me your time the way you have. Uh, so with that, I'm going to do my best to drop back to the role of student. I don't know how well that's going to work. We're going to let Logan take lead once again, as he was supposed to be the lead instructor to begin with on this class. And with that, let's go ahead and push forward by first taking a look at structs. Thanks a lot, everyone.